Hi, so I'm going to explain here how to install and set up the Music Room. So when you first start the Music Room from Steam or Viveport, you're going to end up with this hub here. So this is where you set up the inputs for the, the Music Room. Um, you want to read these install instructions first. So um, that's that'll have these all the text details and little pictures about how you use the music room. I thoroughly recommend having them alongside you as you watch this video. Uh, so, first thing, so I'm running the Viveport version here, so you'll get to have this get Bitwig key here to get your key for Bitwig. Um, if you're running in Steam, you'll get that key from the Steam installer, and it'll, it'll pop you up a thing. So it's pretty much the same between the two platforms, but that's that's the differences. So once you've got your Bitwig uh, key and then you've installed Bitwig following the instructions um, on their site, you'll end up with Bitwig, like this. So here we have Bitwig. So what do we want to do? Um, we want to check our preferences and check that we're using the right audio output. So audio, there's a tab here that says audio. So there are two main driver models, um, ASIO, which is what you want to use if you've got a pro sound card. Um, so if you can use this one. Um, so I've got my RME Fireface uh, connected up. The main thing you want to set here is um, your amount of latency, which is the buffer size. So mine's set down to 48 samples, so I'm getting one millisecond, a little, little over one millisecond. And these are the input, outputs, inputs I've got chosen. Um, so you, you see that you can get a very, very low latency if you've got a decent card. Um, if you've got a consumer card and don't have any specialist hardware, um, so I, I thoroughly recommend having a, a proper sound card. Um, obviously the Fireface gets good latency but we'll switch to using the Windows standard drivers. Um, and you'll see that now my latency has gone up to 441 samples. And that's, I think, probably as low as, yeah, I can't drive, drag that any lower. So, um, so yeah, you, you'll see you get a lot lower, but you can choose all of your sound cards from Windows with that one. But you'll see, yeah, the latency is quite a lot higher if you're using the default windows. So you, that's, you'll be getting 10 milliseconds instead of one there, I think. Um, so which is that? Um, so now we have that sound card selected. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend use the ASIO drivers if you can. Now, the next thing is you want to have the music room set up as a controller. You see, I have my MIDI controller here as well, my standard keyboard, and I have the music room as my other expressive MIDI controller. So to hit, get that, you just hit detect available controllers and it'll appear here. So see if I get rid of it, I just hit detect and it'll appear. So I have that, it's set up. So that's all you need to do. And okay. So you'll see once you've made any changes, the um, this little button up the top the, uh, in the corner will be gray. This is the button to turn on and off sound. So um, you want to make this one orange by clicking it to turn on actually any sounds. So now it's orange, you got sound. Otherwise you won't have any sound. But also we don't have any synths selected. So we can add one here and choose from all of the different synths and presets that Bitwig has. So there's, you know, lots, lots and lots and lots of different sounds we can select and have a listen to. Uh, but we can also get started by looking, using one of the templates that we've provided. So you can go new from template up here, hit that, choose the music room and then hit okay. And it will give you the, the music room. Make sure that this is orange and then we can choose a channel. You'll see this. So now we want to check that we're actually getting any audio out. There's two ways we can check that. Um, one is we can have a look in Bitwig by, um, going to the edit tab here. Let's see, we've got this instrument selected. And then we can move around and 
you see we get audio out. You can see these light up, the meters light up, and we can hear stuff. But we can also check that it gets there from the music room hub, because there's a keyboard here. slide around there. So now we know that we're getting audio all the way through. Uh, then we should check the next thing. So that works well for all of the built-in synths, but we also provide some plugins um, for a sampler. So let's check our sampler and set that up. So we'll go to our samples. Um, and to set up the so you need to tell it this is the same for any VST plugin. So if you have any other plugins that you want to use, um, and I, I thoroughly, I mean, the built-in synths in Bitwig are fantastic, but obviously the more plugins you've got, the more varieties you've got as far as sounds. Um, so you can use any any VST plugins. Um, so you, you go over to this configuration tab, and you can add a new location for a VST plugin. Um, so this will be. Um, the location of the VST plugins from Viveport or Steam. So to find, in the case of Steam, we'll show you that one. Um, you can just open up the Music Room properties by right-clicking on it in Steam, and then you go Browse Local Files, and it'll show you where they are. So this is different depending on your Steam location. That's why you know, we can't detect this order magically. Um, but we'll go to VST plugins, and that's where the plugins are. So you just need this um, location, and you can just add that location by clicking here and going through. Add that location, and then you'll have you'll be able to find these plugins. Otherwise, um, when you try and use the ones that say SF0, they won't work. So they're one of our plugins. Well, you know, one of the included plugins. So let's open up this one, and then you can drum kits. When you first touch this, you won't necessarily have any sounds. You'll have to check that these, um, if your Steam location isn't the standard one, you'll check this. This should automatically appear to be whatever your Steam location is, but open this up. And you'll see that BST plugins, SFZ samples, AVL drum kits, and there's two drum kits to choose from. So Red Zeppelin is the one we're looking at, so let's load that again. So that's setting up the samples. You only need this if you're worried about these drum kits using the samples. Um, there's also, a, this is using the built-in sampler for a different example. Um, from uh, Bitwig's built-in sampler. This is using our custom, uh, uh, you know, included bundle SFZ sampler. Okay, so now we've got all the samples working. Um, we can go back to the hub to actually launch the music room. So you use that to launch it. You notice there's another thing here that says kick pedal input. So I've got it set up to the inputs from my Fireface, um, and you choose which driver model again, the same as the other thing here, um, and you choose which one you, you want. If you don't have a kick pedal plugged in, then you should choose none here. Otherwise, you know, if you just set it up to your mic, then you might just trigger randomly depending on what you're saying. So, um, yeah, let's, so yeah, you'll probably be by default on this Windows Audio one, which will install your Windows Audio on. And you'll see by default it's choosing my mic input, so it's lighting up when I, when I, and that, you'll see I can trigger just by tapping the mic there, which isn't great. So you should probably want to have that to none if you don't have a mic, if you don't have a kick trigger. Uh, plugged in. If you do want to have a kick trigger plugged in, you'll see my video. There's a video explaining how to have kick triggers. Um, so now you can launch the, uh, the music room. There are so there are other videos explaining how to set up everything. Um, you'll find there's lots of videos on the internet explaining the features of Bitwig and how to use it. Um, so there's a lot of features around the sense in Bitwig. The main one that's important to us is obviously. Um, these buttons here, timber and pressure, that influence how the the parameters from the music room, which spits out pressure and timber, affect the synth. So you can control what pushing into the strings does and moving up and down the strings. So yeah, 
that's the basics of uh, installing the music room. And then, uh, yeah, launch it from VR and you should be able to use it. The last thing to explain is um, if you do have a kick trigger and you've followed the video to set that, up, that one up, you can make your kick trigger line up with the your physical in you know, in world one line up with the VR world by putting your controllers five controllers over the top of your real world kick trigger in your kick pedal and then hitting the K button on your keyboard that'll line up the world to that. So thanks for that. Enjoy the music room.